Well, here it is done. My cement mixer. And it's doing pretty much what I thought it would do, but I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive about how it looks. It's going to be just a little, it'll be in the distance. So it'll be uh, sort of um, simplified. And I think that will be sort of neat to see how I can um, draw it, create it uh, in a slightly different way. So it's going to be, here's the, here's the wheels. You can see that I'm making them a little bit um, clumsily, but I sort of want the, I want the, there to be, it's sort of like the cardboard and cutting version of being out of focus, I guess, in the distance, atmospheric perspective. So here, this is going to be the, all of this stuff. Is just going to be with one piece of printed board. Um, so I'm already three quarters the way there. Here's my shiny paper. I'm not three quarters of the way, I'm partly there. And here's the Drum. It's a little too big. I may have been a little bit oversimplified with the wheels. I may have to do something to make them look more wheel-like. And less fucked-like. And that'll be a fender. Do I want to add the, uh, do I want to add the, um, what's the word I want, red on this one, or just have this be monochromatic? What do you think, folks? No response. Someone commented on my last video just now, and... Unfortunately, when I clicked reply, it's not there, so I don't know how YouTube decides what things they will allow me to see or what things they don't want me to see, but it seems like they don't want me to see in reply to him. Maybe he's removed it already. It sometimes happens. Tape here. Now let's, we need to add a little bit of structure on the back here because I, always, I sort of wonder whether this glue is going to stick to the glossy, glossy on glossy. Is the glossy going to stick? But I don't know. I think I will actually add wheels later, but. I um, need more white. This is for the, the 
the back fender. flag on this one. Cut this down. The, uh, uh, there's a little smokestack that goes back here. hungry. I didn't have any breakfast today. Okay, the cab window. What does that gonna look like? Can I use any of this stuff? is going to be the headlight. Oops. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm doing this off the page. Okay, a little window there for the cab. Here we have all of that bric-a-brac and rigmarole. Um, I'm cooking. I'm cooking now. Moving along fast. Soon you'll be able to click a button and add to your shopping cart. You too can buy this. No. other stuff I do. I kind of like this one. I like the simplicity of this compared to the, the other one. This looks more like a, a dump truck, I mean a garbage truck than a cement mixer. I think I need to add the American flag to make it look really like, a, like one of these things. An upside down American flag. I think that's what's that's what's needed. I'll set that there. Again, it's it's a, it's a fun exercise to figure out how you're going to reduce something that's relatively complicated to something that's relatively small and simple and it's, a, it's an interesting little project that I recommend to many of you. Okay. I'm just going to add some other pieces of white on white here, just to imply some bits of complexity without having to be too literal about it.
What do I do about the wheels? What do you think? The wheels don't bother me. The, the non-exactitude of the wheels are... I'm kind of liking them. Okay, the American flag. What is that going to look like if it's reduced to the degree that it is? Is it just going to be a little red thing with a blue... I don't want to put stripes. Move that one down there, further to the bottom. Where's my blue? The blue part of the American flag with the little white stars. What is that called, you vexologists out there? Do you know what that's called? It's a heraldic term. Well, it's, it's used in heraldry, but it's also the term used in vexology. And vexology is the study of flags. Looks more like the Taiwanese flag or something. Um, That's called a canton, a canton. Hmm, do I need anything else? I think I need just a little tiny bit of... something that looks kind of like that. Except I don't want it to say Foxborough. I just need something that's that's just a little tiny bit, little, little bits of tiny lineage going on. Just that little tiny bit of. Here I sound like fucking what's his name. Um, let's add a pretty little tree, little happy tree. What's his name? You know who I mean. What's his name? Bob Ross. That's his name. That charlatan, that hack. I know a lot of people think he's great, but I am not one of them. I'm not among... He might be a nice guy. He might have been a nice guy. He's dead now. But he might have been a nice guy. I have a feeling he was. I have a feeling... That he would be the first person to say, God, I can't believe that people are watching me because I'm a hack. But I'm a happy hack. Yes, he, he showed people that were lazy and kind of dumb. No, I don't want to say that. They just didn't want, they wanted to paint quickly. I mean, I, you saw how long it took me to make this. And it's meant to look like this. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm going into deep trouble here with my... Oh, I forgot the spare tire that this thing has. Well, this one is using its spare tire because... Let me glue one tire on here. There. It's just enough. Um, I, I didn't like the way that he... Uh, I didn't like the way he painted. I didn't like the way he turned art into something that uh, made it sound like anyone... I guess he never called any of the things he did as art. I guess that's okay. He just taught people the joy of painting. And I'm sure that... Uh, I'm 
I'm sure that um, art supply companies loved him because these people would come in and buy this stuff and um, they knew they'd never come back again to complain. Why is this paint so ugly? Why did my painting turn out so ugly? There. Why did my cement mixer turn out so ugly? Okay. Okay. You guys talk about how much you like Bob Ross. I promise to read what you say. I don't think any of you could convince me that he did well. That he actually helped. They, yes, he could have made people feel good for the time that... I'm making another one, by the way. I'm going to have this one turn the other way. And I'm just going to use some of the things that I... Already used, I've already cut up. How does this go again? What am I doing? I'm making another cement mixer. Um, I found him to be a hack. I'll just leave it at that. Wasting perfectly good educational TV airtime and teaching people to waste their money. They could have had someone much more interesting that actually taught people a little bit about art, taught people a little bit about how to actually paint a picture by looking at a still life and Bob Ross knew how to make things look kind of like mountains in the same way that I'm making these things look kind of like cement mixers. So maybe I'm not any different than, than him. Am I? You you tell me. Am I any am I any different? Probably not. Except I'm bad-mouthing perfectly good humans. How can I be so stuck up and mean to like say bad things about Bob Ross? Well, I can. This is my channel, and I can. There's some artists in my building that like him. And these are very, very talented, creative artists. And I have to sit down and have, maybe they can explain to me why Bob Ross is good. That's supposed to be a fender. You can't even see what I'm doing here, can you? That's supposed to be a fender. Now I'll make a bumper. The front of the cab. There. Come on, jumper. I tell you, my fingers are not working. I don't know. Ow! 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 That hurt. That hurt. Cement mixers had this 
thing off the back. And I have a feeling that this was the machine that actually made them, made the little cement mixer thing move. I think back in the olden days, when I was a child, yes, they had cement back then. I think the cement drum was turned by the actual machine that would turn the wheels of the truck. And I think they've changed that to be more efficient, perhaps. By having it be a separate engine. That way they can burn cheaper fuel rather than a tank full of regular or premium or diesel or whatever these things use. So there we go. I don't think I need to put the American flag on this one. But I do want to do this. I do want to take this piece and have it go between the front and the back to help secure it. Come on. I don't understand this. My fingers are, are not functioning. There you go. Perfect. So we've got the little baby one. We have the one in the middle ground. This is in the distance. This is middle ground and the other one is in the foreground. And that way I can imitate the uh, distance with these dioramas I'm doing without actually needing distance. So foreground, middle ground, background. I still don't know what the smoke is going to be. I still, I still need to figure out where that's going to go. But I will. I'm going to take unplug my plug and I think I'm going to go outside and do more drawings of some of these construction things so I can make more little toys. What do you think, folks? Bye.